Greetings everyone, and this is my video for a let's build with Foxhill Sniper, and we'll be creating uh, buildings and like a city through Voxel Sniper and default Minecraft textures. So let's get to this. Uh, the default tools for Voxel Sniper is an arrow and gunpowder. Arrow will remove a block, and gunpowder won't do anything by itself, but when you combine it with other tools, you uh, other settings, brushes, you can create pretty cool things. So what we're going to do is we're going to make this slightly higher because our land right now is at 5. And if I use a voxels uh, brush with sand, which is what we will be using, um, get up here, it will fall through the void and it will pretty much look like crap. So we're going to go slash... B F D, which means fall down, and slash V1, which sets your uh, thing. And see, this is a really small brush, so we're gonna go B50, and we're gonna just gonna keep painting it up here. We're gonna go all the way to our max viewing distance, um, and <laughs> watch the NPC village get destroyed. <laughs> Uh, of course the tops remain, but we will quickly get rid of those. <laughs> Poor NPCs <laughs> and slimes. Okay, so we're going to continue. Keep doing, and we do this so we get a nice flat uh, area of land to build on. I am going to... Oh! It's still... Are the guys still in here? Ah, that's cool. Cool. Um, oops. I'll just seal this up like so. And these guys will be forever be alone and trapped. Alright. So we have this nice little area to work with. Uh, perfect place to start. Voxel sniping. So what you want to do is you want to... Um, use the voxel command which I will show you in one minute when I complete this and it's completed so in order to do that you do slash B and V which means voxel and you see it's set to stone and it's really big right now so we'll go 15 and right click and it's still really big now we don't want to use stone because it will <laughs> it will uh, it will create holes so we want to use sand so slash v sand you can also type the name or the uh, thing for it so we'll go slash b10 and we're just going to paste some sand blocks um, looks like we got a little bit of server leg there we go nice sand blocks uh, Hmm, I'm getting quite a bit of lag here. That's not good. Well, I do have a few things running right now uh, that could be possibly eating up my uh, internet speed. So I will be back when I shut those off. Okay, so it looks like I have fixed those little issues. Um, a few things were running in the back that shouldn't be running. And we get a little bit of lag still, but that is probably just because I'm recording or something along those lines and we will be able to deal with it so we're going to just start pasting some voxels which is just means box and we do have lag I wonder what's wrong with this um, we kinda gotta see what we're building in order for it to work hmm eh, the slimes poor slimes hmm go to abandon ship yeah, I get full service, so I'm not sure why it's lagging. There we go. That's better. Alright, so we're going to create a landscape. And I don't know what I'm going to build on the landscape, but I'm thinking it's going to be a castle. Very original. And that's why you don't want to be building on layer 5, because the sand will fall and it will lag your whole entire uh, game 
like I just just did right there. So we want to stay away from that. Um, I know I'm so evil. Um, you want to try to fill in all the gaps and create a nice little area here. Pretty big. Remember, you're building an actually really big scale here. So you know this might be the size of a medium cliff in Minecraft. Well, it can go much higher now because you're at the, such a low level. And we'll just continue with this. Um, when I, I'll get back to you when I am done doing um, some of the really basic voxels pasting. And when we start to actually sculpting the terrain, we will. Uh, I'll come back. So I'll see you in a bit. Okay, so I've done um, quite a bit of work on the bigger voxels, but now we are going to work on some smaller ones to add a little bit more uh, less blockiness to this area. Um, don't worry, this is not going to be a sand uh, voxel snipe. It is going to be stone, but sand is just the best way to start off. Um, you could do this in world edit as well for those of you who aren't as uh don't have the capabilities of having your own server you could definitely use world edit but you won't have the brushes that i will be using you will have similar brushes but they aren't as uh good um you will have things such as the smooth i think brush which this this uh um plugin voxel sniper also has a smooth brush but it's a lot more sophisticated it doesn't create odd holes in the walls that i find the world edit brush gives but if you um just want to watch this for world edit things i won't be using world edit so i'm not sure well i may use it a little bit i use like fill water and stuff but that's pretty much it so I'm not sure what you'll gain out of it, but this is more intended to people that use Voxel Sniper. So let's keep going here. Um, one thing you have to be aware of is if you hit, if you create uh, a lot of falling sand blocks, you'll create an intense amount of lag, and uh, yeah, you will definitely notice it, and it will hinder your server quite. Uh, incredibly I guess you could say extremely uh, noticeably um, what we got here right now is we got this nice little mountain and don't worry I'm gonna be smoothing this out so it's not as blocky you probably won't even know it was all blocks uh, but I think I'm doing a good job so far at what I wanted to accomplish keep in mind I'm not an amazing sniper at this game but uh, I I do know a few things here and there so what we got here is we got like a can we go into options and turn clouds off yes I am not a pirate so don't ask me how I knew that <laughs> um, yeah so we're creating like a grotto right there in this hole and it's gonna be filled with water I think it's gonna look pretty cool and uh, we're creating like this nice landscape I'm not sure what we're going to build, but whatever it is, it'll be pretty cool, in my opinion. So, uh, we're going to keep going here. Not sure what we're going to uh, be creating with Voxel Sniper yet. I know there's going to be a Grotto, but I don't know um, how big this little land piece is going to be. Maybe it'll be an island. I'm not too sure yet. Um, so, yeah. I'm going to keep going at this and just placing some more smaller voxels around, making it look a little bit more uh, better, I guess you could say, less blocky, even though it looks blocky, but it looks pretty cool. You can kind of see the landscape outline. And I will get back to you when this is done. Okay, so we are working on some of, of the other landscapes here. So we're going to do some disc brushes to make a nice beach feel to it. Like so. Uh, Got to be careful with this brush because if you screw it up, it will it will be extremely laggy. And nice chunk here. Beautiful. Look at that. Perfect. 
perfect. Slimes are getting squished, but I don't care. Yeah, so we're creating a nice feel to it. Oh, that's a little bit too much. Slash. To undo, it's a slash U. Pretty simple. I thought it was slash undo, like world edit, but it is not. So that's something to keep in mind. And it's starting to look nicer. I decided to get rid of the grotto because it just looked odd. Um, and just looked weird, so I got rid of it. And we're just going to have... I'll show you when I get there. We're going to have this cool, like... I'll show you in a minute. Don't worry. Have this cool... Oh, where is it? It's coming up. I know it is. Yeah, it's up here. Um, we're gonna have this like cool like plateau type feel to it. I think it's gonna look cool. I will add this brush just for fun there. Okay, so we're gonna keep working at this brush here. Make this area look nice, and we're gonna obviously change all this up so it doesn't look like it was you know brushed in. Um, that's probably gonna lag my game quite a bit. Indeed, you gotta be careful too because if you lag it too much, then you'll lose your your progress because it will can't handle all of the uh, things being created. So that is something to keep in mind. And it looks good, nice little beach, pretty big beach actually. Um, gonna have to go slash bfd slash. Um, does it matter if we do it like this? No, it doesn't. Okay, so let's we'll do like this. And, yeah, keep going here. See if we can create a nice little area. Um, apparently, it looks like I'm lagging. I don't blame this computer and the internet because my internet's not good. Um, okay, so slash bd is the disk command. And now we're adding disks. Perfect. Okay, so we got this done by the majority. Now we got to go slash B, V, which is voxel, and V, uh, V sand, and make it a smaller cube, like something like this. So we create a nice little um, gradual landscape. And I wish you could fly faster in the uh, vanilla Minecraft creative mode. I really do, but uh, it doesn't appear you can. And it doesn't look like Zom's mod pack is uh, updated to 1.1. So, sadly, I don't think I'll be able to fly that fast. Okay, guys, so I'm going to finish up doing some nice touching up here. Or if you can consider it touching up. And I'll get back to you. Okay, so we done a little bit. We're done a little bit of uh, touching up. And now what we're going to do is I'm going to be using the ball brush. So slash B slash BB. And that's the ball brush. And we're going to make it slightly smaller. So we'll go slash B. I'd say around 3. Nope, a little too small. Slash B5. Yeah, that's good. And we're just going to add some nice balls here so we can create a little bit of a less square dimension to it. I'm just placing them randomly. We will smooth all this out as we uh, progress further into sniping this area. And it seems like we have experiencing a little bit of server lag. Um, this is ran off my computer. Um, no one can actually join it even if I wanted you to. And uh, yeah, so when my internet starts to crap out, um, that's what happens. We won't be sniping too long. I actually plan to make one episode or two episodes on the subject. And the rest is going to be on building uh, the land, uh, not the landscape, building the actual, what, building the actual area up and making buildings and stuff. So this is definitely more of a let's build type video than a let's snipe video, but, uh, we are starting off with a voxel sniper. And you can tell this land is starting to shape it up a little bit. The balls add a little bit more of a better feel to them. 
to the area and it's starting to look better. Add some more. And I'm going to keep doing this for a bit until I feel that we have shaped it enough using the basic shapes and I'll get back to you. Okay. Okay. So we've done enough sniping with creating. We're now going to start actually editing our land. And I'm just going to choose the milk command. And what it does, um, I will show you, is it just basically shrinks everything and displaces it, making it more of uh, a blended landscape. And if you use the gunpowder, you actually fill landscape. So you can use both to create some pretty cool effects and um, nice landscape. See what I'm doing here? I'm making everything um, look a lot more natural. And you want to use both of them because if you just use the, the shrink command or the milk command, I guess you could call it, which is what it's actually called, um, you will can end up with some crazy looking things that doesn't look uh, too natural. So I'm going to keep working on this here, and when we get back, I will show you um, what I got. So, okay. Okay, guys, so I've been hard at, hard at work here, and this is what I got. It looks quite good. I'm going to do a little bit of a pan shot. Beautiful, isn't it? It looks quite good now. Um, there is a few things that need to happen and we're going to do them right now but in my opinion it looks quite good but a little repetitive so what we're going to do is we're going to mix it up a little bit okay enough of that go to here we go slash b we're going to do blend ball slash b b b and that is a blend ball and what that's going to do is just blend everything to make it look a little bit less uh, repetitive. So we're going to be doing, I'm going to be doing this off camera because I don't want to uh, spend an hour do, while having you guys watch me use the blend ball. So I'll be back. Alrighty. Okay, everyone. So I have done enough work here for now. Um, we want to do a few more things, but this is what it's generally going to look like. Pretty cool. But one thing I want to do is I want to sleep because <laughs> rain just trolled me pretty hard there. Oh, can I sleep at night? Okay, so anyways, what I want to do is slash B-R-E, and that is the random road brush, and that will just make this less uh, symmetrical looking as you can see so it looks less like a uh, fake piece of terrain more so of a natural generated terrain so I'm gonna do this for a bit and all you do is you just pretty much um, right click on areas that you think are a little too unnatural looking and it will do its thing so I'm going to do this for a while and I'll get back to you. Okay everyone, so now that we are done with the uh, random road tool, we're going to do some smoothing. So slash B E smooth. And this is just going to make everything look a little bit nicer. Um, I may have already used this brush, I sh but uh, yeah, we're just going to redo it again. If I've already used it. I don't think I have though. And just go around smoothing things that look like they needed a touch up. Try to stay away from smoothing uh, areas that you want rough because then they'll just look bad. But it's a good tool. Works good. Uh, makes everything look nice in Minecraft uh, E, I guess removes all them stray like uh, blocks if you can tell so we're going to do this quickly um, make everything look nice here fill in some of these holes and after this brush we're going to be doing some uh, using some 
actual stone re uh, sand replacement brush because we don't want to have an actual sand area we want to have a stone area with complete with grass so we're going to do that uh, before I do that though what I like to do is I like to create a backup because I don't want to uh, have any issues with that so I will be creating a backup after I'm done using this smooth tool and we're just going around smoothing things out doing what we can you know looking better here looks a lot better especially these like rough edges right that looks better everything looks good now you would never know that this started off as ugly block boxes um... okay so i think we're done using the smooth brush for now we can always touch up on it later but what we're going to do now is I'm going to back up and I come back. I'm going to be putting um, stone on this. So I shall see you then. Okay, so we got a nice backup going. And now we are going to remove sand and put stone. I'm pretty happy with the way it looks. Um, no real complaints. And if I screw up, I can always roll back. So let's do this. Slash B V M M which is going to be replace material so we want a replace material to be sand that means every time you click on this sand is going to be replaced now slash V and one stone and slash B 40 and look at that it's like magic all that sand is getting destroyed and replaced and this isn't just like an overlay it's an actual like full replacement of uh, of sand and it's gonna look really good now so we're gonna just fly along here and replace all the sand um, yeah place all the sand up may add beaches later but for now sand is gonna have to go mm -hmm. keep going here pretty big area. Um, I actually plan to make a castle here. I think that'll look really cool. And uh, yeah, interesting. Look at that. That is perfect. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Just how I envisioned it. Okay, so now what we want to do is we want to go to slash D, no, slash B overlay and D2 and this will mean that overlay of depth of 2 and slash V dirt and this is going to create an overlay of dirt wherever you click so we're going to try to make it so we don't hit any areas uh, down there but we obviously did we can fix that though nice overlay of dirt now to really make this place look good and keep going along here um, after this though we are going to be planting grass and uh, trees eventually but we're just going to be doing dirt right now so let's keep going and I think this is really fun to do you just paste all over the place and you see this area just completely change looks beautiful actually looks really nice now alright keep going keep going place all this dirt sand uh, stone overlay and you want to do a depth of two because you want to have a decent overlay of dirt so two often works good and keep going over here and we got a little bit of stone left we're gonna clean that up low perfect I think there might be a little bit over here lingering check it out oh looks pretty good looks a lot better now and uh, what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna go slash D B overlay and oops slash B overlay D1 and slash V grass and this is just going to create a nice 
grass layer. Beautiful, isn't it? Now it's coming together. It's starting to look like a legit uh, island, I guess you could call it. So I'm going to pause it, and when we're done, I'm going to done laying grass. I'm going to come back. Okay, guys. Okay, guys. So we are um, pretty much done for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, next episode, we are going to start building the castle. Um, I want to add foliage later because I want to make it fit around my builds and not have my builds fit to the foliage. I think it will just be annoying. So that's what we're going to do. Uh, yeah, this should be actually quite fun. Piggy. And I'm going to show you how to do the water next episode as well. Because this is an island, I think. I'm thinking it's an island. But I'm pretty happy with the job we did so far. Pretty nice looking. Natural. And... Yep. Do some flyby shots, maybe. Oops. I love these. Sh these shots are so cool. Um, I could probably make that cliff a little better, but nah, it's all right. And that's it, guys. See you later. Bye bye.